So in today's video, we're going to take a look at my work in progress for Hobby's Easter campaign, hashtag here comes the sun. Hello everyone, it's Kara. welcome back to the Rambatina channel, hope you're all doing well. If you haven't watched my first video introducing this project and the hobby brand, please check it out, I'll leave an info card in the top right corner as well as a link to the video in the description box below. Before we get into the details of my Here Comes the Sun project, let's talk about the brand Hobby if this is your first time hearing about them. They are a wonderful yarn brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark where all of their products are designed you're going to love their website because it is extremely user-friendly and packed full of so many useful features such as free patterns a mobile app that includes free live bingo games every sunday a point store plus even more when you subscribe to a hobby plus account so update i took on a pretty big project for this challenge and thought i'd be able to finish this cardigan within april but i I've had a crazy busy month so it's still an ongoing whip that I'm gonna continue in May. I'm also planning to crochet this live over on TikTok so that's super exciting and fun. So let's show you what I have made so far for my yellow cable cardigan cable cropped cardigan. I'm gonna have to zoom out so I can show you the panels in full size. <laughs> okay, so so far I have made one front panel. Um, you can see the ribbing here looks super, super nice and neat. I love how um, tight this came out. Like there's not many holes in the ribbing, super nice. And then this is the cable design I went with. Yeah, so as you can see, I haven't actually finished off this panel yet. I haven't cut my yarn because I haven't decided on the length of the cardigan yet and I wanna make sure it is the right length before I cu cut my yarn. So uh, yeah, this is just the front panel. So I'm gonna make my back panel, make sure that that, well, I've, as you can see, I've already started it, but I wanna make sure that it is all the right length and then I can finish off and count my rows and figure it all out and make sure it's all the same length and all of that jazz. So yeah, I'm wondering if I will need to kind of loosely stitch it together just so I can try it on and test the length um, of the cardigan or I just put it up against um, a jumper or something that I've got already that I can um, refer it to. And then we have the back panel that I am still working on. The, again, the same ribbing. And here I've included a different cable in the middle. So I have literally done the same thing here where I've done 20 stitches here and then this braided cable. Um, and then this is what the other front panel will look like essentially. Um, and then I wanted to add a bit more cabling in the middle of the back panel. So this is the design I used. I think it looks really, really cool. Really, really pleased with it. Um, it is taking me a surprisingly long time to do though. I forgot how long cables are, um, but I am enjoying it so much. It is so much fun. And this yarn is so lovely to work with. It's so soft. And I kind of came up with this design following some YouTube tutorials, so I will leave those links in the description box below as well. And I've actually been keeping a timer for this project, so I know that I have crocheted 18 hours so far. So these two panels have taken me 18 hours, but to be fair, I'm not following a pattern. I am making it up, so a lot of that time was used to design the project and frog and redo and figure out what I'm doing. So yeah, <laughs> it's a very, very long project. I, yeah, I'm now, I'm now just realizing how big this project is. I cannot believe I haven't even started on the sleeves. So just a little reminder of what yarn I'm using. This is the Kind Feather 100% Premium Acrylic Anti-Pilling Yarn by Hobby. It is in the shade Light Yellow. 
04. And since filming the time lapse portion of this video, I have adjusted my camera settings to pick up the colour a lot better. So these clips where I'm showing you the yarn right now um, is a bit more accurate to the colour. It's a lot more of a baby yellow. Um, in the time lapse, it looks like a neon bright yellow. Um, yeah, it's super nice. I love the shade. And I really, really like this yarn. It's super, super nice. So soft, you can see how squidgy it is. And it's not too like fluffy or slippery and like shiny. It's like, it's just perfect. <laughs> and it's just creating such a lovely fabric when you crochet it up. I have noticed that this project is eating up my yarn. So this front panel you can see here is one skein and this is how much I've got left. So it looks like I'll be using one skein per front panel and I, I ordered six skeins. So I've used one for one front panel so that will be two for the other panel. Then I'm probably gonna use about two skeins for the back panel, so that leaves us with hopefully just one skein each for the sleeves. So fingers crossed I've got enough yarn. I think I will have the perfect amount. I can't believe in my first video I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll have leftover yarn, maybe I can make another project with it. No, 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 I think I have ordered the perfect amount and I'm kind of worried a little bit that I haven't ordered enough but fingers crossed for me that I have planned this out really, really well <laughs> and it is the exact amount of yarn I need. <laughs> if not, it will just have to be quite a cropped cardigan, um, maybe with shorter sleeves, I don't know, but we will get to that later on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you to Hobby for gifting me this lovely yarn. I'm looking forward to continuing this spring slash Easter inspired project. I hope you enjoyed today's video, stay tuned to see the final cardigan. Don't forget to check out Hobby's website for all the yarny goodness. Happy crocheting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!